Key Stage 1 meeting. This is a meeting for parents just to welcome you to Key Stage 1, mainly for our Year 1 children that are coming up from reception as it's a different curriculum, but also for our Year 2 children. Um, we would normally do this meeting in front of all the parents, however, obviously at the moment we have to record the meeting and send it out to you guys. If you have any further questions after the meeting, then please contact us. So, welcome to Key Stage 1. I'm um, Miss Ford and I'm the Key Stage 1 lead at this school and also the Year 2 lead. And we've got Mrs Fusty here with Hi. us, who's the Year 1 uh, lead. So if we want to meet the team, we've got Mrs Fussy, who um, is in charge of Year 1. We've got Mrs Island, Mrs Shilton and Mrs Lindsay that are teachers in Year 1. Mrs Shilton and Mrs Lindsay job share. Um, and then we've got different teaching assistants that sometimes they're based in the classroom, but they tend to work across all the classes. We've got Mrs Stringer, Mrs Lack, Mrs Anderson, Mrs Hughes, Miss Smith, Mrs Covert and Mrs Miners who works across Year 1 and Year 2. Then within Year 2 we've got myself as the Year 2 lead, Miss McGrath and Miss Phillips and then across the Year 2 we've got the different teaching assistants, Mrs Phillips, Mrs Barnes and Mrs Porter and then we have some staff that work one to one with individual children, we've got Miss Doherty, Mrs Martin and Mrs Little. So they're all available if you ever want to talk to anyone on the playground or after school. Okay, so our school day. So normally, in normal circumstances, uh, we open the doors at 8.45 and the teaching assistants will uh, greet the children um, on the playground near the classrooms um, until about five to nine. Um, if you need to pass on any messages at all to, to the class teacher, uh, you can do this via the classroom assistants in the morning um, and usually they might be able to answer your questions and support you with anything um, that you need uh, help with. Um, if you arrive late, uh, please take your child through to the main reception um, and then they can have their register taken there. Um, at the moment, with the different circumstances, uh, children are arriving at different designated times um, and then teachers and teaching assistants are both out in the morning to greet the children um, and get to know the new children and their families. Um, our daily timetable uh, can change, but we have a general structure which we tend to follow. Um, and the beginning of the day will start with assembly, um, maths and then phonics. These subjects go on throughout the morning and then in the afternoon, it's where the children do their more creative topic-based learning, um, such as history, geography, music, art, design, RE and PHC and all of those others. Um, at the very end of the day, uh, at 3.05, the children come out onto the playground with their class, um, in the class, in their class line, and we do ask parents to stand back on the playground so that the children can see you and also that the teachers can see you clearly. Um, and then we like to release the children safely by matching them to their adult that's collecting them. So we ask the children just to see if they can spot you and if they can spot you, they give us a little wave and when we've noticed you, notice them, then we can watch the children go safely um, to their adult. Um, we do ask if your child's being picked up by another grown-up um, that isn't the usual grown-up that collects them. If you just let the teaching assistant know in the morning or the teacher, um, then that just um, helps us to make sure that the children are released safely. Um, and I think that's it. At the moment, though, the children are leaving at their designated time, um, and we ask the parents to wait on the yellow feet. Uh, we're releasing the children in a different way to how we normally do, so we're releasing the child to the adult that's at the front of the line. Okay, so um, the routines are slightly different in Key Stage 1 than um, in the early years. So we regularly mind the children to go to the toilet. Now the children, um, now the toilets are further away from the classroom, we try and get them to do this at set times, for example, before lunch, after lunch, before play, after play. But obviously if a child does need the toilet during the day, we do let them go. Um, but we just um, prefer it to be within the routine because the toilets are a little bit further away. Um, we do ask that if you just put some spare pants in their bag, just in case there's ever an accident, even if it's just a spillage, um, it's just really helpful for us. 
children have their um, fruit took at 10.15 to 10.30 every day um, and the fruit's provided at school. Some of them that will still have milk, that's still available to them, um, but it has to be ordered through the office. Um, the children have their tuck as they go out to play, so they take their tuck and their drink with them onto the playground. Now they're that little bit older, they don't have two separate times. Um, we ask that children all have a water bottle within the school, and we've got water fountains to fill up around the school. This can be sent in on a Monday and left all week and collected on a Friday, or the children can take this home daily. We sort of ask that that's named. If the child wants to bring in another drink, such as a juice or um, a drink for snack, then that's absolutely fine as well, but we just ask for no fizzy drink or energy-based drink. Um, a little bit different in Food Stage 1, we um, are still on the Read Write Ink programme. A lot of um, the reception children would have started this moving forward, but as it moves on through Year 1 and Year 2, um, the levels slightly change. So some days your child will be on a three-day plan, so they'll get a new book every three days. However, they might be um, changed to a five-day plan, so they get a new book every five days. If your um, child completes the Read Write Ink programme, they um, will move on to English lessons. And in this lesson, we sort of focus on reading and writing, spelling, punctuation. So it just sort of takes it on to that next level where we sort of just do the key writing skills. So if your child says, I'm not in the phonics group anymore, <laughs> they'll now be in an English group, just working on their English skills. So, we enjoy a congratulations assembly, um, and they're going to be held at 9 o'clock on Friday morning. Um, so in normal circumstances, you'll receive a text message from the office when your child has been um, chosen to be celebrated, and um, then you're welcome to come along and visit um, and see them. Children also are welcome to bring in celebration certificates from home, uh, such as if they had a swimming award or a gymnastics or a dance award, and we love to share in their achievements. Um, at the moment, in the current circumstances, we're holding the congratulations assemblies virtually in the classrooms, um, but the children are still celebrated because all the classes log on, um, and so we all share together as a school. Um, so because parents are not allowed at the moment in the current situation, they will receive a printed picture of their child with their certificate on a Friday if they're being celebrated in our assembly. Um, moving on to PE, so children will have two sessions of PE a week um, and these days can alter from time to time and may even change um, across terms. Um, so we do ask that the child always has a PE kit in school. Um, if you wish, you can take the kit home on a Friday to wash it, um, but they don't get particularly sweaty so we always send it home at half term anyway. So there's no particular need to wash it every week unless you particularly want to, um, and we send it home at half term uh, to be washed. Um, we do ask that kits are in school for Monday, um, just in case there's any slight changes to timetables. Um, if your child has earrings, they should be either taken out um, or covered with tape. Um, and at the moment, in the current circumstances, the children are not changing for PE, but we have asked that they just bring in a pair of pumps or trainers to wear. Um, particularly if we're doing most of our lessons outside uh, when the weather's fine. Um, on the days that the children don't have PE, so three of five days, they will take part in the Daily Mile, which they all absolutely love, um, which is a quick 10 minute running and walking break um, around different zones on the playground. Um, and this is great fun and they, they love it. Um, as part of our personal and social and emotional learning, we follow the PATHS program. So within each classroom, we have a star of the week, and their job is to um, help the teacher in special ways, like taking the register down to the office or setting the example for the line. Um, and then on a Friday, we love to give them compliments. And so uh, we celebrate that child within our classrooms, and they do love it because they get to wear a very special badge. Okay, so home learning is slightly different um, within Food Stage 1. At the moment, we know that sometimes um, you'll set a menu of activities within reception or in UYFS, you upload to Tapestry. However, in Food Stage 1, our home learning is different. So um, the children will have their Read Write Ink books 
and sometimes there's two of those, a paper book and a home story book. Alongside this, they'll also be given a staged book as well. So they can change the staged book as many times as they want. So if they want to read every single night, they just return it in the morning in their folder and then that can be changed by or throughout the day. We do ask that if you put um, a little note in the, in the red home liaison book, just so we know that you've read with your child and if they read a few times a week, they'll get some stars as well. So it's just nice to keep that communication open. If you think that the book's a little hard for your child or they need something a bit more challenging, if you just let us know in there and then we can change the book accordingly. But we do ask that the child gives us the folder with the book. So we remind them every single morning to bring it in and change it, but sometimes it might just be worth you reminding them as well um, that they can change it. But we do hope that this is changed at least once a week, really. Um, on a Friday, the children will be given a maths activity sheet of their homework. This is usually based on something they've been learning that week, so they've got the skills um, to help them. So if we've been doing a week on addition, then it will be an addition-based sheet. So they will always know um, the methods that are used on the sheet, and we do try and display these. But if there's any, um, any uh, need any extra support with that, that's absolutely fine, because we know the methods that we teach now are different from the methods that... Um, we might have learned as parents so just please feel free to come in and we can explain those um, easily to you and then before um, the end of each half term we'll send out a, a topic fact file for the next half term and this will contain um, key images and key vocab for your child to learn over that half term ready for the next half term so the next topic is going to be on um, the Great Fire of London, then it would be good for them to learn where London is, London as a city, all that sort of vocab. And then at the beginning of that half term, we'll send out an activity um, sheet with a menu of lots of different homework ideas. So um, this could be building and creating things, it could be drawing pictures, it could be visiting a museum, lots of different things linked to the homework and the topic but you can just choose from that menu what you and your child sort of prefer to do together. And we love getting these into school and um, we've had some fantastic yeah. displays. Um, so no it's pressure, wonderful. but enjoy. Yeah, it's been wonderful. Okay, so just some dates for your diary really. We um, do have some assessments uh, within Key Stage 1 um, and these take place in May and June. So. In June, uh, Year 1 pupils will complete a phonic screening test. Um, and in May, uh, in Year 2, pupils will complete their SATS tests. Um, but there's no need to worry about those yet. We do have lots of information a lot nearer the time to support you with these, um, including letters and meetings. And they'll be held prior to both May and June. Um, we have usually hand out some different resources to parents at, at this meeting so we can give the um, year one parents a year one overview of the curriculum and a year two overview and then we also hand out some um, resources of um, what we call the year one common exception words and the year two common exception words so the year one words are a list of words that the children should be able to read and write by the end of year one and similarly with the year two a list of words that children should be able to read and write by the end of year two. Um, we're also working really hard on letter formation now the children have moved into key stage one um, and we'll send this out as well so just the way that the letters all sit on the line in ascending to descending and then moving on into year two the children will start to use letter join to join their handwriting so obviously we can't give those out today so what we're going to do is upload these resources um, as a document alongside the PowerPoint that we've discussed today. Um, if you haven't got any access to printing these out or you're having difficulties downloading them, just please let um, either myself or Mrs Gussie know or one of the ladies in the office and we can get those to you in, in your child's book bag. And obviously we can't take any live questions but if you do have any questions or there's something you're a little bit unsure about that's slightly different now that your child's either in year one or now that your child's in year two then please do either come and find myself or Mrs Gussie or um, arrange a phone call and we also have the email option open available as well to contact us and they're all um, available in the home learning section. So it's been lovely, um, not to meet you all, but it's been lovely to um, share Key Stage 1 with you and um, just come and find us if you need anything.
Thank you.